This Thursday at Microsoft's Copilot and Surface event, for the first time, we were able to see the Surface Pro 10 and Surface Laptop 6. When it comes to portability, the Surface lineup has always been one of our top picks, so seeing the next development is very amazing. Even after a few years, many people still pick the MacBook Air M2 for its portable performance, which begs the question, should you make a decision? Which option would be the best one to make? In today's video, let's find out. With Microsoft taking the old, reliable saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, to heart, the detachable design remains intact in the Surface Pro 10. That being the most iconic design philosophy, the Surface Pro 10 makes use of the same PixelSense Flow 13-inch touch, 120Hz display that comes with a pixel resolution of 2080 by 1920 and a boxy 3 by 2 aspect ratio. While the resolution did not receive any bumps or upgrades, the brightness sure did, as the Surface Pro 10 is rated for 600 nits, 33% higher than the Pro 9's 450 nit display. The front-facing camera received an upgrade though, since it's now a 1440p camera instead of a 1080p one, and it comes with automatic framing to keep your face in the frame and blur out of the unnecessities. On the flip side, the MacBook Air M2 is pretty much the thinnest and lightest MacBook variant out there. As it ditches the old-school wedge shape and embraces a more uniform build, which aligns it beautifully with every other portable design that has an Apple logo. The webcam on the MacBook Air M2, while having an upgrade from its predecessor and hitting a 1080p resolution, still falters in comparison to the Surface Pro 10. But hey, don't get us wrong, we love the camera of the Arum 2, since it improved the image and low light handling by utilizing the chip, and made video conferencing a lot more enjoyable. However, there's a notch that you might end up loving or hating, so it's good to keep in mind. The MacBook Air M2 comes with a liquid retina 13.6 inch screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1664. That means you won't lose sharpness due to sharpness, all while retaining the perks of extra screen space and a better webcam. Did we forget to mention 500 units of brightness and 1 billion colors because, yes, that's a pretty dominating factor in general. For the hardware, the Core Ultra processors are the elephants in the room for Surface 10, as it comes offering either a Core Ultra 5 135U or Core Ultra 7 165U chip, which is a massive upgrade from their predecessor, but still rocking that Intel graphics, unfortunately. We can pair this with the base spec of 8GB memory that's expandable all the way up to 64GB. You'll also get a 256GB Gen 4 SSD, alongside two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports with Microsoft Surface Connect port for charging. Speaking of, the new Intel chips and the battery come with a promising 19 hours of battery life. On the other hand, the MacBook Air M2 comes with an 8-core CPU and GPU, alongside 8GB of RAM that is expandable up to 16GB. 256GB of storage that's expandable up to 1TB, alongside two Thunderbolt USB 4 ports with slot for a microphone. From a single charge, the MacBook Air M2 can run for a solid 18 hours, and even more when the load is lighter. Now when you need to make a decision, you need to prioritize your needs and ecosystem preferences. The Surface Pro 10 excels in this regard with that familiar 2-in-1 design, a brighter display, and a much better front-facing camera this time around, and extensive RAM upgrade options, turning it into the ideal laptop for people who prefer flexibility and power in a portable package. While it mostly appeals to the professionals, the MacBook Air M2 stands for that signature sleek design, impressive liquid retina display, and of course the seamless integration with the Apple ecosystem. The MacBook Air M2 is the best fit for students and professionals who prefer a laptop that's straightforward and efficient while working in tandem with other Apple accessories. Regardless, which one of these laptops would you be going with and why? Do let us know, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.